I thought I was worth, which brings us to now. So we might be on the crux. I, I, I don't know how we haven't had another absolute meltdown, but I think it's coming. Um, you know, it looks to me like there's no way it couldn't, uh, given a lot of things that I pay attention to and everything else. But um, we're on a roll here. We're on a roll that there's hundreds of thousands of you. Well, I should say 120,000 have been viewing and, and, and getting into the conversation and trying to figure out who I am and, and what I'm all about. And a lot of people are going to obviously criticize me because they just what happens online. People, you know, want to go after, I guess, the messenger. But in the long time, long and the short of it, everybody is so quick to judge. They don't even know anything about anyone. But again, I'm coming out of the blue. So how would I expect you to know anything? I don't. Do your own due diligence. I, I beg you, go to www.thecon.tv and study it. If you don't want to pay the two bucks per episode, check it out, all the free information that we have on the website. I mean, we've got 30, 40 videos that are part of our YouTube channel that basically tell you all of the information that I'm telling you and more. And, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I know what I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, I'm here like Navy SEAL Team 6 going to truth bomb the con because – you know, right now what's happening is we're getting ready for the midterms, right? So you've got all of these different scenarios and people are talking about, okay, well, Obama destroyed the working class and they destroyed, you know, they don't even talk about the African-Americans, but he talks about the white working class and why the white working class went over to MAGA and they're going to, you know, basically support the Republican Party who supports Trump, who's been doing all of this stuff that I've been telling you with his business the entire time. So those are our choices. You've got you know, the blue side, which are, have been the ones who created this madness, and then the red side, the guys who play ball with this madness and just benefit from it. And so you don't have a, a, a choice that is life, liberty, and justice for all and the integrity of law to where we have dynamism, to where we actually have supply and demand, to where we actually have an economy that works for people, that gives people who are really hardworking and very smart and innovative a chance to do fantastic things in the economy, which is the idea that has been at least most of my lifetime – but ultimately, I guess that's a myth now, just like everything else, right? And then, you know, when you get to the end of that story, you know, you see over and over, and this is the thing that I, I just desperately want you guys to understand above all else. BlackRock was in first position. I mean, I swear to God, every single day, whether it's Russell Brand, whether it's Joe Rogan, whether it's, you know, Crystal Ball or whomever else, they're kind of dancing around some of these things, but they just don't even know the basics. They, they don't know what the con is. They don't know that we put millions and 10 millions of illegal loans into these packages intentionally at every step of the line that then blew up the world so that when it blew up, ultimately, and I've heard, you know, guys that are supposedly in the know and great documentarians, I'll say Academy Award documentarians that I put this information on their plate five years ago and they decided to ignore me and go with somebody else who will say things like, oh yeah, maybe they got a trillion dollars uh, in, in emergency relief and it's awful and, you know, they can go so far.